This video is on Unit 7, Episode 3, DNA versus RNA. Um, the two learning targets that you need to, to be able to meet are, uh, I know what RNA is and what it is made out of, and secondly, I can compare and contrast DNA and RNA. Let's go ahead and get started um, on describing RNA. Alright, so RNA sounds like DNA, but RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. So we've got our RNA. Remember DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. So this tells you a little bit of information of what RNA is made out of. Um, and just like DNA polymer is made out of DNA monomer, RNA polymer is made out of RNA monomer. And we call that an RNA nucleotide. Okay? So we want to make sure we understand um, what goes into an RNA nucleotide. Um, and <clears throat> it's going to look very similar to DNA, but there's a key difference. So um, instead of deoxyribose as our sugar, we have ribose as our sugar. So that's one very, very big difference. Um, and secondly, we have a phosphate and there is a <clears throat> nitrogen base over here. Okay? So, <coughs> it actually looks very similar um, to our DNA molecule with one very big difference, whereas DNA has deoxyribose and RNA has ribose. But this would continue down a whole strand It would continue above and below, but unlike DNA, RNA is single stranded. It's only got one side to it. It doesn't have those hydrogen bonds that connect to a second strand. Instead, it's just one single strand. And yet another difference um, is going to be I'm going to draw another model of it. So this is going to be my sugar phosphate backbone. We've got sugars, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate. And it continues down this backbone. And remember, we, we can draw it this way because it's the same for every uh, nucleotide. For every RNA nucleotide, it's phosphate, ribose, phosphate, ribose. Um, what can be different are the nitrogen bases. And one key difference is that RNA on any RNA molecule, the only nitrogen bases that we're going to see are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. This is a new one for us. Um, so think back to that little joke you saw on the pre-assessment about RNA having U in it. Um, we believe this is A, C, G, and U. And what you notice is that there's no thymine. So wherever there would have been thymine, wherever we would have added a thymine, uracil gets replaced. Um, so this could look like A, U, G, C, A, U. Um, and that's going to be an mRNA sequence. So let's very quickly um, compare and contrast. Um, I'm just going to make a list of some comparisons and um, some differences of RNA and DNA. So we know the DNA, we know what it stands for, so make sure you know that and can tell me. This is double stranded. Um, we know that it has deoxyribose. It um, has base the nitrogen bases of adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. Um, <coughs> let's see. Um, the DNA nucle it has made out of DNA nucleotides. which are made up of deoxyribose, which we said before, a phosphate group, 
and nitrogen bases. We've listed the four nitrogen bases here. Um, we're talking about RNA. Make sure you know what it stands for. It is single-stranded. It has ribose. It has adenine. Uracil, guanine, and cytosine. It's made of RNA nucleotides, deoxyribose, ooh, sorry, ribose phosphate. And nitrogen bases, but make sure you understand that these are the nitrogen bases and that there's a difference um, <coughs> between the uracil and the thymine. Um, and actually, if you, I just listed things here. So what I would see if you could do is put this on a um, Venn diagram and see if you could fill in. a Venn diagram of DNA and RNA and remember that these, what that goes in here, and some of you kind of struggle with this a little bit, what goes on this left side is things that are DNA only, <coughs> the right side is RNA only, and here in the middle it's whatever is true for both molecules, RNA and DNA. Okay, so you only need to write each thing once, you just gotta figure out does it go where DNA is it only in DNA? Is it only in RNA or is it in both? And that's where you write it. Okay? And that's it.